Back to maintenance made on a budget. Today we're going to be replacing a bathroom sink faucet. Um, this particular one is a Glacier Bay. And uh, the reason we're replacing this one is uh, more of a just a design that the uh, customer wanted to replace. And the reason for that is you can see it's all corroded, old, missing the drain plug. Uh, they don't even, matter of fact, they don't even have a drain plug port for that. So uh, we went with the Glacier Bay uh, based on the price, uh, not so much the design. This one is right around 30 something dollars at the Home Depot. Uh, there are places you can go um, if you can get one cheaper, but uh, we didn't have much time um, at, if you wanted to find one at the thrift store. Uh, there is a construction uh, thrift store that you can sell uh, parts. So we got this one. Uh, it has a good set of directions. If you do any Glacier Bay, I've installed several Glacier Bay uh, faucets. They all come with the good instructions. Um, but, you know, can be confusing at times, so we're going to go ahead and do a video about it. Tools you'll need for this job. Possible a wire brush, pipe wrench, channel locks. Uh, I went with a 6-inch crescent wrench, uh, but the size varies on your installation. Depending if you have any more, how much space you have between the back of the wall and the uh, connection itself, whether you can get a wrench in there. Uh, Teflon tape, and then the contents of the package will be the drain. The two nuts that go on the bottom, and this will be the faucet itself, those nuts go up on here. One thing I do not have that is an option is silicone. Uh, silicone will go on the base <clears throat> of this faucet here. Don't find that it's necessary, especially for this application. Um, feel free to do it. It's just a regular, typical silicone that you can find in the uh, bathroom section or the paint section of Home Depot. They'll have the, I think the cheaper tubes are like around two to three bucks, maybe four bucks with tax. Um, but like I said, I don't find it necessary because this is a later model. Uh, the customer is wanting to do a redesign later anyway. Uh, but if you have the sinks maybe that are above the <clears throat> the uh, counter here, uh, like the see-through sinks, you might want to put the caulking in there or the uh, silicone in there. But um, it's you know it's uh, mainly just to seal it in place. Um, not really necessary. So we'll get started. So we already got the bottom set up. You also need to have a towel, uh, possibly. First thing you want to do is shut the water valves. So you have the cold and the hot valves. This one here, and then that one there. Um, this one, when you see this design like an oval shape, you have to turn it all the way righty-tighty till it stops. This one is just a one turn halfway shut, halfway open. Uh, that's what you'll typically find on sinks, but uh, not always. I had to... Uh, replace one of these in the past and I don't remember which one it was oh, this one I think this was a quick um, uh, shark bite application and uh, those are just so much easier to apply uh, I'll do a video on those later but if you ever find problems when you're having to replace the hose and you go to shut this valve and it just breaks or it doesn't stop the water you'll have to cut the valve off smooth out the copper fitting and put a shark bite on there real easy um i'll do a video on that in the future for sure because uh, that's the way i do all my fittings now anyway we'll get started once those two valves are shut we can start with getting the uh, as you can see there that's where your crescent wrench is going to go so we'll get the crescent wrench on that and get those two started get both hoses off All right, so go with a wrench. And lock that one off. Might have a little bit of residue coming out. That's okay. That's why we've got the towel. And then we'll do this one. Okay, so we've got the hoses off. And then these nuts, you get your channel locks. Can you hear me the channel locks? No. They're up on top here. Okay. So you get the channel locks and get it on here. Right. 
and then they just loosen those off. And then I already got this one loose. And then once these come off, we can go ahead on the top and remove the faucet itself. All right, so now we're gonna remove the top. We got the bottom off. And uh, you just simply work it up. And there you go. And then we need to clean this up. Looks like someone had put silicone on this particular one. Uh, like I said, not necessary. And we'll go ahead and just clean that up a little bit. Get it nice and... Scraper for that. Pause. All right, so I had to grab a scraper here to help me get the rest of this off, and uh, should put that in the job description. You won't see it on the tube. Yeah. All right, so we got it cleaned up. Now we're going to proceed with the new faucet. <clears throat> so, just real quick, um, pretty simple. It's just going to slide in there, but you already have this cover. Um, and like I said, if anywhere, if you wanted to put a silicone, you'd put it right around here would be the most important because these two pieces is underneath. So you're not going to have any water necessarily leaking from up here to get down in there. Um, you want to do it that way. It, it certainly can. I'm not doing it. We're going to just put it straight in there. We're going to snug it up nice and tight and then, um, it'll be ready to go. So we got that down there. Then we're gonna go and take these pieces, which are our lock nuts. And we're gonna put them down below. I did wanna do one thing before I insert this piece is we wanna Teflon these threads up. Cause like I said, um, anywhere where you thread things or connect things is where you're gonna have the highest potential of leaking. So I like to take care of that. So, Remember how we tape? Righty tighty. Righty tighty. We're gonna go in the direction of how you would thread the pipe. Like a shot. So that when you actually tighten it, uh, the hose doesn't rip the pipe tape off or Teflon tape. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just got that. And we'll do this side the same way. Now we'll put this back inside and we'll go down below and get it nice and snug with these <coughs> lock nuts. All right, so we're gonna get the lock nuts on. If you can uh, hold the piece down for me so I can thread up, please. Thank you, sir. All right, get that all the way up snug first. Hey, you got another one? Uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll get this one up there. All right, get them nice and tight. 
channel locks and we're just going to do a quick snug on those all right okay and we'll do the other one just get them the best you can as long as they're nice and tight it ain't going nowhere all right now after that you simply attach your hose back on there you already got the teflon tape on there so sorry righty tidy okay and then we'll put And then you use the crescent wrench to tighten these up. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this so I can finish this up. All right, so I finished up the bottom, but essentially, um, here's my old one. Uh, all I did was I Teflon taped that, and then we put the hose on there, and we used the crescent wrench um, to tighten it up, which is what I was doing down below. So that's done, and now nice and sturdy. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the rest of the process. Here you have the pull pin for the drain. You can uh, slide that down, or actually we'll leave it here for now. And we're going to go ahead and get started with, and you can either use your pipe wrench or your channel locks. First thing we're going to do is remove this, or get this loose here. So, you know, generally you can see where you can get a channel lock up in there and just break it loose. Okay, might have to break the other piece loose here. Now, keep in mind, you might have some gunk in here, so that's why we got the towel. Ooh, you know, gunk. All right, just go ahead and pop that out the way for now. All right, and then what we're going to do is get this piece to thread out. So you'll see here, this is where you need your pipe wrench. Okay. So we're going to put the pipe wrench here. Whoa. Okay. Now I'm going to get positioned. Okay. So you're going to get the pipe wrench. And then we're going to start breaking it loose. Right? Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is we're trying to we're gonna screw that out while at the same time, come back up on the top, please. Up here, you'll see where, as I turn the pipe wrench, um, you'll see that that whole piece is moving. So this is where it gets interesting. What I've done in the past is I would sometimes take a screwdriver and try to stick it in the little slot here and then hold that as I'm turning. So if you can hold that assistant, just hold it like that. And if you can hold the camera in your other hand, you'll be multitasking here and just hold it on your hand while I turn. <laughs> Very interesting, huh? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna get better positioned here. And then we're gonna hold that. Oh, I got you. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we're gonna go. Let's see. We want to do lefty Lucy, right? So. Yeah. All right. So taking that bottom piece off. Uh, turned out to be quite difficult um, So this sink is a uh, old it goes to an old house. I think it's a 1980 or so house and it's probably never been changed. So as you can see here, I had to end up cutting it and uh, uh, You can see here it was just rusted solid you have this nut that's supposed to be able to get a pipe wrench and unthread it out as the new one here is plastic so anyway what a nightmare that was. Hopefully you don't run into that issue. If you do, you would probably most likely need to get one of these cutters here. And then you just simply cut that sucker off. All right, 
One other thing I forgot to add in the uh, parts uh, description on the video, but I will have it in the description, is pipe putty. Because for putting this bottom piece on here, this top piece is going to go down like that. And you want to put putty all along the bottom of here. And then we'll have this come up through the bottom. And it'll just slide up through there. And it'll attach like that. All right, so we'll start with the pipe putty. And um, basically, you'll just get some of that, make like a little roll like that. Hmm. And put it down in here. Don't be too concerned how, how much you get, because it'll all squeeze itself down. Basically, you just want to do a nice little seal around the bottom there. And then whatever's left, you can just scrape it away clean. And we'll get in like that. And then what I'm going to do now is drop my plunger in. Now the plunger, you'll see how it has this shape here. That is to line up. So it should be, this back piece should be facing the wall where this is going to be. So you'll have this piece here comes down. This will connect into my, uh, it'll pop right into here like such, right? And then this piece will be connected like that. So ultimately what you're going to have is this piece needs to connect into here underneath the sink like that. So the back piece should be facing the wall. So we're going to stick it straight down like that. And I'll kind of just press it in a bit. And then we're going to take this piece. And if you'll follow me down below, we're going to go ahead and, uh, get it inside like so I'll get that and I'll go ahead and start threading it in threading from the top this up and get it nice and snug so let's go to threading this one up okay we'll get that there awesome. all right so now we're going to attach our uh, drain plumb so this can you see this that's going to pop up inside. And we'll get that in there. Okay, that's in. And then you see this piece? Yeah. This is going to go inside. But now we need to try to get it to connect um, into the plunger. So. This goes into here like that, snaps in. When this goes into here, this piece slides through whichever alignment you have that aligns to it. And this slides down and locks in place like such. Okay. All right, and that's the finished product. So you can see how the plumber, the, uh, attachment goes inside here you have the attachment here and it connects in to the pull pin from up top the only thing left to do is reconnect our union here make sure that the uh, gasket is still up on there pop that on and then you thread this back in place And we're done. So, final test.
Hold on. And no leaks. We opened our water back, and that's it. So one of the uh, hope that video helped. Hope this video helps you, and um, and hopefully you don't run into the same problem I had with the the old style uh, seized up pipe drain pipe. Um, I don't run don't run into too many of those. So um, if you think this video helped you out, please hit the like button and subscribe, and we will be continuing to add videos as we go along.